Hello everyone, this is Crazen Lord. Welcome to episode 1 of Building with Crazen, a completely new series where I will be taking you through my entire building process and show you how to build exactly what I'm building. In today's episode, we will be building a set of apartments with some sort of store integrated in one of the sides and it will be for the Coldcraft City District. The first step is to get a good shape going, so I'm going to try to do that. Okay, we've got something here. <laughs> it is something. Um, I kind of started to pick the color palette. I originally had it as all granite and it was like really gross. Just did not, it just felt bad. So this contrast between the red nether brick and the smooth sandstone, I really like. I think that could definitely go somewhere. And the deep slate I think goes well with the granite, but I might swap out this granite entirely. Who knows at this point. So I've also got, if you can see this overhang, Part. And this is the entrance will be right here in this overhang and I think this is a really cool way to make it a little bit less boxy it's kind of non-conventional I really like that I think that could work I've gone ahead and replaced this bottom section of granite with cyan terracotta and I think this might be it like if we just mix in tons of blackstone and deep slate now this won't be all polished off the texture later but if we do something like like just something like this texture it in here and there and then transition to some deep slate up going up it this is a really nice gradient and it gives it a lot of interest now i did a really crappy job but i hope that you can see what i mean <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a better job of this. Okay, I think I've got it sorted out. So I made this bottom layer even more dark with this gray concrete instead of that cyan terracotta. Got the blackstone mixed in there, got the deep slate mixed up here. And then as another little detail, I just put fence gates under the um, stairs that are facing upright. So that adds a bunch of little detail, warp, uh, not warped. Crimson on this side and then dark oak on this side. Now comes the process of texturing everything. So for the sandstone, I was thinking I wanted to use some end stone. A little bit tough to use, but I'm gonna try. And same with dripstone for this granite section. So wish me luck. I've done a bunch of texturing. Now I really like the dripstone there. I think I made that work. However, the end stone I'm not so sure about. It just looks so bright and alien. I, I really don't know. Uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna have to get rid of it. Okay, I've swapped out that end stone for this birch. Now, I think this is good. I really like this. I can see how some people wouldn't, but the dripstone isn't meant to be a little darker than the granite over there. So I feel like the birch is, it's okay if it's a little bit darker than the sandstone and I, I think that really works and adds a lot of detail and texture Now I think let's get some doorways and the windows that I said I was gonna do the windows are in We went with a really 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 simple design just a stair and two glass panes That's it and the stair gives it a lot of depth and the glass panes gives it extra depth so you get so much depth without having any indents without having any trap doors any nonsense that you have to deal with so this design is pretty much perfect i also added trap doors along the tops of these and honestly it didn't add too much but i'm gonna leave it so there's that the next step in this process is to get some life into this build the most important step so I'm thinking a bright yellow sign right about there with what the store is going to be selling. And then we've got a doorway, maybe here some windows displaying products on either side. Okay, I finally figured out exactly what this store is going to be selling. We'll be selling the finest of clothing, the netherite armor. It's called going to be called Zoot Suit. Now Zoot Suit was an actual thing from the 30s, but it has nothing to do with that. Uh, it just rhymes and it sounds cool. <laughs> so this entire sign was B-Dubs inspired. He used a really similar thing in Aqua Town. And if you actually notice, behind these are paintings. And I can't put this back now, so I'll have to, <laughs> I'll have to figure that out later. But um, yeah, behind those are actually that painting and it adds in such a nice little break between the yellow, nice outline. It is beautiful. So I don't really know what this next section could be. I was thinking just a Apartments. 
but I'm not exactly sure what to put here. Hmm. We've got an apartment sign. However, I have a few problems with it. So, um, I yeah, I didn't put it on this wall because I don't think it really needs it. The windows look fine there. Um, the few the problems with this are I needed to put this divider here, otherwise it looked weird. But now that divider looks weird from this side, and I can't really continue it all the way. I don't really want to. <laughs> I don't know. And I feel like the yellow's a little bright and. I just realized apartments wouldn't really advertise that they're apartments, they just kind of are there, if you know what I mean. So I honestly might just scrap this and be boring and put windows over all of it, but I honestly think that'd be fine. The attraction is really this Zoot Suit uh, clothing store, right? So yeah, let's just scrap this. That is much, much better, even though it's a lot more simple. Um, honestly, all that's left to do is really the interior. I won't be doing every single apartment. That'd be just insane. I'll just put some floors in and some lighting so it looks good at night. No, no. I'm, I'm gonna be doing this interior of Zoot Suit Shop, and then I'll also do a little bit of a lobby for the apartment. I got started on the interior, and I am like so excited about how awesome this is. So, got like this wallpaper, kind of a gradient but it's not randomized. So we got green concrete powder, green concrete, green terracotta, and then a red carpet flooring with that red glazed terracotta in the inverse pattern, making this little star square something something. The red and the green just go so well together. I figured I would do red, just match the red nether brick, and then what's the color that goes with red? Green, boom, slap it on the walls, amazing. So let's get some stock in here. All the shelves are stocked. We've got a mix of chainmail, diamond, gold, leather. Um, in survival, when I actually build this on the server, I'll use way more leather and then I'll just dye a lot of it. But dyeing leather takes up a lot of time and this looks cool, so we're just gonna leave it for now. Let's move on to the lobby for the apartments. The interior for the lobby is completely done. It's very, very simple. It's just like some cyan carpet, nice painting on the wall, cash register, windows, stairs going up to nothing at the moment. And it probably will stay that way, but that's okay. Um, this is done. I'm really happy with how this turned out. I love all the color palettes, especially. I think the only thing left to do is turn on some shaders. Look at that. Shaders are the best. The torches are kind of annoying. I might have to move those to the floors only, maybe. We'll have to see, but honestly, it's okay. It's okay. This place turned out so nice, so nice. I love the interior of this place with the red and the green contrast, all the different armor suits. That is gonna do it for episode one of Building with Crazen. If you enjoyed or learned anything, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more of these. Thank you all for watching. This is Crazen Lord, signing off. Goodbye.